All right, listen up. I got a couple things I gotta get off my chest. All right, it's kind of bright out. Just listen up for a minute. I know the quality ain't the best. Whatever, I don't care about that shit. Somebody said to me, well, your graphics on your YouTube channel sucks. Who gives a fuck about graphics? I gotta get the word across. I'm gonna do it again to get the word across. I'll fix the graphics on my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm working on it and get the better video editing, whatever. But anyway, got something I want to talk about. And this video might get flagged. And I have no intention of getting flagged or anything. I have no, let me just spell it out. Somebody tell me what is pansexual. I'm having a hard time understanding this. Asexual, pansexual, new shit that keeps coming out. It's stupid. All I know is there's gay, homosexual, which you go with the same sex. There's straight, which you go with the opposite, which is the way you're supposed to go. And there's bi. Bi is the ones that are spreading the diseases from the from the gays over to the straight, like AIDS, herpes, gonorrhea, and all the other viruses out there. Bi's, bisexual, is they're the worst because they're the ones spreading the disease from the homosexuals to the straight. So, the bisexuals are the, are the worst criminals. But, um, so, I, but what the fuck is pansexual? Then there's asexual. I guess asexual so means you're not attracted to anything. So what the fuck is pansexual? What is this shit? What is this stupid terminology? Stupid shit they keep coming up with. Somebody please explain this to me. I never heard this damn term. You know how stupid pansexual is? It's just as stupid as pouring buckets of ice and water over our head for ASL. What the hell does that have to do with ASL? What the hell does wearing pink or driving a pink vehicle have to do anything with raising awareness for cancer, for breast cancer? Because you have pink nipples? I mean, I don't understand it. What is it? I don't really do charities because charities are scams and 90% of the money doesn't go towards the cause. Like the like the Red Cross. You donate money to the Red Cross, it's going towards it's not even going towards the cause. It's not even going towards the people. You walk 10 miles or whatever it is in a breast cancer walk and what is it? You don't you think that money's actually going towards the, the principle of the cause? Or is it going towards these wealthy, these greedy CEOs, like the CEO of Red Cross? They said only like 5 or 10% of the money from the Red Cross actually goes to the cause. But I'm talking about pansexuals. Please somebody explain to me what pansexual is. There's this, this, it's, it's, I'm seeing a lot of it. It's, I'm seeing a, most of it through these adolescent, virgin 17, 16 year olds that I don't even know what the hell's going on in those schools anymore. I've been out of school since 2002. And let me tell you something, man. I hear enough shit on Twitter and Facebook. I don't have a clue what the fuck is going on in the socialist, communist, tyrannical school system nowadays. The liberal school system. What the fuck are they teaching in those schools? Somebody please tell me. It was bad. It was the transition the transitioning from free thinker to slave. It was transitioning as I was getting out of there. Now it's complete slavery. When I was in high school, 16, 17, 18, the transitioning was happening. It was just happening. And I had a hard time getting along with the fucking teachers or whatever there. Because I am not a fucking slave. I'm, meant, I'm, I'm, I'm a free thinker. I cannot be held against my will and I cannot be a slave to society. That's why I dropped out in the 10th grade. 
I wouldn't have made it all the way to 12. I, I, I wouldn't have made it. No fucking way. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take any more of the fucking brainwashing. I couldn't take any more of the slavery. Any more of the tyrannical shit. I dropped out in 10th and said, fuck this. I took a test. Got my diploma. I couldn't take it anymore. I dropped out at the age of 17. I was supposed to graduate by the time I was... Uh, Actually, I flunked kindergarten and I flunked the 10th grade, so I had to do 10th grade and kindergarten over. So I was supposed to graduate at the, 17, at the age of 17, but then I was supposed to graduate at the age of 19. But at the age of 19, I took a test and got my GED. So anyway, somebody please explain to me what pansexual is. I'm having a hard time understanding this. I don't understand. I cannot keep up with this bullshit. I'm 30, almost, I'll be 32 next month. In about three weeks, I'll be 32 years old. I don't understand what the fuck's going on. I need teenagers to teach me what the fuck's going on nowadays. It's, it's ridiculous. And one last thing I want to throw out there. Now, this might piss off a lot of Americans, but it's something I've seen on, the, uh, on Facebook under my other account that's not suspended. I recently left a comment, you know, I said that the Navy really hasn't done anything. Talk about the U.S. military, I really said that the Navy hasn't done much. There's a couple things they've done, but they haven't done much. I said they're just more likely a bunch of frogs on a bunch of lily pads out in the ocean. That's what I said. Please don't, if, if anybody's in the military, please don't get Al Aspen. I support the military. But here's how the military works in this country. And it's the damn truth, and if you don't like it, hey... You can't handle it. That's your problem. These recruits, they go to high school. They recruit these teenagers. Thinking they're going to get free money for college. And uh, 20 years. 20 years and out. 20 years retire, twenty years in the military. Retirement out. What really happens is. They send you over to another country. To fight a fake agenda. To fight fake wars. To, to disrupt another country. To obliterate another country. Steal all the resources. For the new world order agenda. Agenda 21, use the military as pawns, kill yourself, or lose all your limbs. You come back over, you're homeless, you ain't got a job, you're homeless on the street. That's how the military works. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. This is Rachel Rob. Peace.